Oregon is such a very, very special place um, because of our majestic natural beauty. And when people come to Oregon, um, they want to put down roots um, to build their families and their lives. And we value our environment. And even though the Oregon coast runs along the western edge of the state, um, the coast and our coastal communities are truly central to Oregonians' identity. And we are surrounded by incredible natural beauty, but we're also infused with something more, and that is a progressive spirit and a commitment to democracy so profound that we have come to lead the nation in its practice. Um, from the nation's first bottle bill, yay, to ensuring coastal access, yay, um, to preserving our farm and forest land through Oregon's land use planning system, we have literally shown the rest of the country how it ought to be done. And I think with the help of many of you in this room, we will continue to make progress this legislative session by tackling global climate change. Yeah. I have learned uh, through my multiple decades in public service that change takes time. And it is often done incrementally. I am very, very grateful for the work that my predecessors did to lay an incredibly strong foundation in this great state of Oregon. Um, just over a year ago, in a move that undermined decades of bipartisan coastal protection, the Trump administration announced a proposal to open up 90% of US waters to oil and gas drilling. Yes, it would have opened our shores, our wildlife, our communities, and our economy to the threat of devastation from an oil spill. It turns our back, it would, turns literally uh, their backs on our commitment to reducing our dependence on fossil fuels. But this bill that I'm going to be signing here in just a minute, Senate Bill 256, is the product of Oregonian voices speaking loudly for Oregonian values. It's about more than protecting 363 miles of irreplaceable natural ecosystems. It's about more than ensuring our iconic salmon have safe passage to ensure their survival. It's about more than protecting the livelihood of our fishers or our small business owners. It's about states like Oregon taking a leadership role in preventing the erosion of core laws that protect our environment. And we made it happen. We made it happen the Oregon way by working together across the aisle and around the state. Um, we have a lot more work to do this session to make sure that Oregon's lands and waters remain safe from the chaos at the federal level and that we continue to drive without fossil fuels, of course, our own environmental future. Um, so I look forward to your partnership on that work. And in the meantime, I am very, very thrilled uh, to be signing Senate Bill 256 into law. All right. Yes. Yay.